what's happening in Japan is so unprecedented. And this tragedy that I think we have to overcome. As you know very well, whole town, whole cities and villages have been swept out. We still don't know how many are missing. And day after day, we have been pounding, finding the dead bodies, hundreds and thousands of them, and still we cannot identify all the people who are missing and who might have been dead. As of today, over 420,000 to almost 500,000, half million people have been evacuated in the facilities using m many cases, city halls, schools, and so on. I understand it's going to snow tonight, and electricity has been cut off in many places. And even in Tokyo, the schedule power cuts started, and every one of us has to share the burden and share the horrors and the tragedies of what happened. Particularly the aged people who are very old. They are not only physically but also spiritually uh, getting weaker. So we have to support them, assist them, so that they keep strong not only the old, but also the young, and children, and everyone there. Not only the Japanese, but also all these foreign residents in the area and all over Japan. During these several, year, several days, just from Friday, we have received many messages, very moving and touching, very encouraging from all Malaysian people. But I'd like to emphasize that All these messages of condolences and sympathies and encouragement are very much touching and heartwarming and we are conveying all these wholehearted messages to Japan so that all the Japanese people understand how much Malaysian people are supporting them.